everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for both tomorrow and wednesday across portions of texas and oklahoma the latest on the threats to expect and as well as the timing guide for you is all in this forecast and let's get right into it so as of right now there is an enhanced risk of severe weather across portions of the panhandle of texas which does include amarillo and this is an area that we'll have to watch for a tornado threat and a large hail threat so keep that in mind and then there's an enhanced risk that goes all across northern and northwest oklahoma into south southeastern kansas now we won't really touch too much on kansas but i'll kind of show you here in just a second what the timing looks like all right the tornado threat for tomorrow as well you can see that there is a, actually a five percent probability within a 25 mile radius of a tornado threat just east of amarillo so that's kind of where we're looking for the greatest tornado threat tomorrow evening also this area here is kind of out of the mix at this point not a lot of shear in that area most of the shear is gonna be in here or off to the northeast it's kind of a weird setup but that's kind of what we're looking at in terms of the the setup for tomorrow also looking at the large hail threat there is a 30 percent probability within a 25 mile radius in this red shaded region that is just east of amarillo as well so that's where we're going to be watching for the best potential for some baseball tennis ball sized hail potentially even a little bit larger than that so that's where we're watching for a very large hail threat it also does include western and northwestern oklahoma all right let's take a look at your timing guide for tomorrow you can see we'll stay dry through most of the morning hours and early afternoon storms will start to fire up by about four to five o'clock see by five o'clock you have a couple of cells developing in this area here now eventually by six we'll start to see more coverage really developing these storms will be developing very rapidly rapidly between about five to eight o'clock you can see right around six though storms firing up just west of Childress and just east of Amarillo by 7 to 8 o'clock, Elk City and as well as Childers all seeing some thunderstorms at that point, as well as up toward uh, Ponca City and other areas off in northern Oklahoma. Eventually by 9 to 10 o'clock, those storms will very slowly move south, and eventually by 11 to 12 o'clock, most of this stuff should probably just kind of stall. We'll eventually see a very weird pattern where these storms start to move northeast. Now after that, we'll start to see a setup for Wednesday in terms of severe weather across the southern plains, which I'll show you again more on here in just a second. Tornado parameter for tomorrow evening, you can see most of the values between about zero and a half to a or bit 0.5 I should say to about one and a half which is about a low end threat for a tornado so it's pretty much what we're looking at tomorrow evening we're looking at a pretty low end tornado threat for really anywhere in the panhandle of Texas and as well as western Oklahoma all right take a look at the uh potential for Wednesday there is as of right now a slight risk of severe weather across central and as well as portions of southern Oklahoma and two portions of the panhandle of Texas this also does include Lubbock and as well as uh, uh, Amarillo is actually included in the marginal threat and there's a marginal threat that does go into portions of north Texas so that's something to keep in mind there might be some severe storms there here's a look at the timing we'll probably have some storms during the morning hours across oklahoma all this will become outflow driven so most of these storms will start to push down to the south i can't get the latest on the scan but these storms will start to push south and potentially bring some damaging wind gusts they should be able to fizzle out before actually reaching like dfw but if they do reach they could bring some damaging wind gusts that's the only threat i'm forecasting in terms of those storms you can see some supercells developing back out in west texas those will not reach dfw but those will also pose a threat for maybe some large hail damaging wind gusts out that way all right make sure to stay update with north texas weather center for the latest we'll keep you updated there's also a potential for severe weather on thursday we'll get to that in another forecast this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all debts repair in the dashner law firm